Hello and welcome to Funk, Fermi University's daily news show. Today is Friday, November 2nd, 2018, and I'm Andy. And I'm Ash. In today's news, some blood pressure medications are being recalled due to contamination. Erbisurgeon and Valsurgeon were recalled because it is suspected that they contain traces of potential carcinogens. However, the recall applies to only 1% of the medications on the market, according to the FDA. The weather for today will be rainy with a high of 66 and a low of 42. November 4th through the 10th will be Felisa's International Education Week. There are going to be giveaways, food, CLPs, and lots of fun events to highlight international culture and community on campus. Events will include two CLPs, the International Fashion Show at 7 p.m. on Tuesday in McAllister, and the Volley on Wednesday at 6 p.m. in Watkins. There will be food, henna, tattoos, and free artwork. Women's soccer will take on Sanford today at 4 p.m. and Western Carolina tomorrow at 7 p.m. as they look to close out their season on a high note. Fairview Women's Volleyball takes on East Tennessee State University tonight at 7 p.m. Head on out to cheer our Paladins. The football team will look to take home a win against the Chattanooga Scrappy Mocs tomorrow at 1 p.m. Furman is currently 3-4 and four, looking to earn a big victory over our 6-2 and two conference rivals. Men's soccer will host either VMI or Belmont tomorrow in the Southern Conference quarterfinals at 7 p.m. There will be a CLP showing of Detective D and the Mystery of Phantom in Burgess Theater on Monday at 6 p.m. The movie features the history and stories of Wu Zetian, the first and only female emperor in Chinese history, and Detective D, the wisest official in Wu's imperial court during the Tang Dynasty. On Tuesday, November 6th, at 5.30 p.m. in Patrick Lecture Hall, there will be a CLP lecture to address the challenges that coral reef environments are facing and some of the solutions that are being explored to preserve reef systems. The Fermi University Jazz Ensemble, featuring special guest artist saxophonist Adam Larson, will perform a variety of music in their CLP performance at 8 p.m. tonight in Daniel Recital Hall. Want to figure out how to get the best out of the library on campus? Here's from librarian Steve Richardson to teach you how to locate all of the books you need for class. Hello, I'm Steve Richardson. I am one of the outreach librarians. Uh, outreach just means that we reach out to people that need help. What we help with is research and help people find information and try to point them towards the best thing for them, what it is they're trying to accomplish. Now the library, the books, and the different collections are laid out in a unique way. We use something called Library of Congress classification, which differs from Dewey Decimal. Uh, the concept is kind of the same, but really it starts with uh, a different um, a different mode of numbering. That is, it starts with letters and then numbering. We have uh, these books designated from A through Z in the library. There are a couple of exceptions. <clears throat> there are no uh, M's in this library because we have a music library and it turns out that M is for music. And uh, then there's some things that are in the Q's and R's that are in the science library. We have some here computer science things, that, that kind of thing. Also, there are no, there are no um, O's in the library. And the reason for that is when you see a call number, it starts with a letter and then it goes with a number. So an O is too close to zero to not get confused. And the way these are most of the time set on a book, they're on the spine edge here. And you can see here, you've got something that starts with an N, and it's an um, uh, N, and then a number, and then another letter, and then yet another letter, and then a date, which is when the book was published. Usually the last thing, the date, is the least important. It's the others that separated on the shelf. So, we have an arrangement here in the James B. Duke Library where everything from A through N 
is on the, this first level here. And then everything from P, remember there's no zeros, no, no O's that is, because of the zeros. Everything from P through Z is on the ground floor. And that's pretty much the layout here as far as where things are arranged. So we get some things in the wrong place, regardless you know, how, how well we try, regardless of how many times we, we do it, it turns out that way. But we always have people that can find them. We got some great people here that can search them down, seem like they're always lucky to find them. And that's the way the layout is. that you've had a better experience in the library than the last time I was in there. A book fell on my head. I guess I can only blame my shelf. And that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check our website, cansoftthefunk.com, submit announcements, and watch all our previous episodes. Have a great Medical Science Liaison Awareness and Appreciation Day, and tune in again tomorrow for our next episode.